isn't on cattle detrimental to wildlife? So that's actually a big misconception out there. When we look at cattle, they are actually beneficial in that wildlife ecosystem. We need some kind of large herbivore to help graze some of those grasses down so that we have some forbs and some other um, plants coming up that are very valuable feed resources for deer and some of our other species. When we look at birds, take quail for instance, they can't move through an area that's just totally grown up with grass. They need some open spots. And so cattle help in that situation. A way we can look at that is if we think back several hundred years ago, buffalo serve the same purpose as what cattle are in a lot of instances now as that ruminant to go out there and consume that forage resource. And so whether we're talking about buffalo and wildlife or we're talking about cattle and wildlife, there's a very beneficial relationship there. Another very important role that grazing animal provides, so let's just say we took all the cattle out of the system. We would have a ton of forage grows that would grow up that actually creates a very big fire hazard. And so cattle, in addition to letting us produce high quality uh, human protein off these low quality grasses, they also play a very good environmental management role, especially from a fire suppression standpoint. So, you know, talked about fire. I was driving from uh, College Station to Austin and I drive through Bastrop, which I used to as I went through their beautiful, what we call the Lost Pines. There's a pine forest there, just, you know, tree, tree throughout. I drove through there and it was devoid of any trees now because of a fire. And I was told that that was because of the way that that land was managed and not allowed to have livestock on it to help eat that underbrush from that fire. Is that true? That, that, that definitely could be accurate. It's, it's going to depend on the situation. But absolutely, if we don't have some way of managing that underbrush, whether that's people or ruminant species, sheep and goats or cattle, we're definitely going to build up more of a fuel load. 